supported fish pose. So a nice chest opening. You can use blocks or pillows. Supporting your upper back and then letting your head be supported on whatever height is comfortable. You can try bringing the soles of your feet together or straightening the legs long in front of you. Maybe from here you close your eyes. Just allow yourself physically and mentally to arrive on your mat. From here, take a big breath in through your nose. Just open mouth, exhale. Deep breath in through your nose. Open mouth, exhale. Let's continue with that deep breathing, really starting to fill yourself up. With this cold weather, I know I found myself either not breathing through my nose very often or taking a lot of short, shallow breaths. So let's devote some time here to finding that big, deep, and kind of calming breath. Place your hands on your belly if you want to get a little sense of what it feels like, if you can really feel yourself expand on your inhale. Let the sound of your breath really bring you right into this present moment and do whatever is possible to keep yourself here for the next 60 minutes. As you breathe, feel your shoulders relax and feel yourself take the shape of your props. Allowing that release through the front, the chest, the shoulders. And then reach your arms over your head with your thumbs pointing down towards the ground. Get a stretch through the arms. And then if your feet aren't already, bring them flat on the ground with your butt to the ground. One more breath, reaching those arms over your head. And then we'll move the blocks to the side and we'll stay on the back for just a minute. Just let your head come down, bring your knees wide, grabbing for the soles of the feet, happy baby pose. Just rock it side to side. Checking out your hips and your back. You're gently pulling downward, the knees wider than your torso. If necessary, you can always grab your ankles here. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna cross the right leg over the left. This is Gomukhasana or cow face legs. And then you're gonna grab the pinky side edges of your feet and gently pull in. Now, if you're kind of tight or you have more athletic thighs, it won't pull in quite as much. It might not even cross that well, but with a little bit of pull, you should feel that stretch through the outer hip glute. And the more you pull, your feet towards you gently, the more you'll feel sensation wise. One more breath here. And then unwind the legs, give them just a stretch out to the sides into a straddle and then cross your left over your right, bending the knees, reach up, 
Grab for the pinky side edges of your feet. And then pulling in. Last breath. Release both legs straight up, reach behind either your right calf or hamstring, and then lower your left leg down towards the ground. So slight pulling inward, keep your right foot relaxed. You don't have to point it or flex it harshly. Lift your left leg back to meet the right and then lower it down towards the ground. If you need less of a stretch, you'll want to come down a little lower or maybe use your strap. Now from here, reach your arms out to a T, take your right leg up and over to the left, dropping that leg towards the ground. Option here, bend your bottom leg, your left leg, reach with your right hand, grabbing for the top of the foot, moving into a quad stretch, and then rolling back onto the ground. So you're, and then you can take your left hand, grabbing onto your right foot. This is called the bretzel. Try and roll your right shoulder down towards the ground. Last breath. Unwind, release both legs, roll to your back. And then we'll take the left leg up. Again, grab your hamstring or calf. Take the right leg, lower it down towards the ground. Gently pulling your left leg closer towards you. Bring your right leg up to meet the left. And once more, lowering it down to the ground. From here, arms to a T, take your left leg over to the right. Option here, bend your bottom leg, grab for the top of the foot, and you're gonna pull it back so it gets more in line again, and then roll to your back. Option to grab, your left leg with your right hand. And then gently unwind. <clears throat> Come to your back, grab your knees, rock and roll forward and back. Let's go three more, three. Two, all the way up, hands and knees. Spread your fingers out wide. Inhale for cow pose. Pull your shoulders back. Exhale, cat pose, chin to chest, pressing down into your hands. Push the tops of your feet down into the earth. Inhale, cow pose, gazing up. Exhale, cat, and move with your breath at your own tempo for a couple more rounds. Adding anything on that would feel good for you. And then from here, bring your knees a little wider just to the inside of your mat. Walk your arms forward, stretching your fingertips away from you. Keep your elbows off the ground, bring your forehead to the ground. Active child's pose here. Really press into the fingertips. Maybe even lifting your palms off the ground. Again, find length. From here, walk your hands all the way to the left, pressing down into the right hand. Keep 
push down a little bit more, feeling that stretch down your right side. Walk it over to the left, pressing into the left hand. Get some traction by really gripping a bit into the fingertips. And then come back to center, shift back to hands and knees, thread the needle, inhale, lift your right arm up to the sky, exhale, thread it underneath, bringing your right ear to the ground. Maybe you wanna take your left arm up, wrap it behind your back, reaching for your right hip and pull that left shoulder back. Release the left arm down, press yourself back up, come to hands and knees again as we switch sides. Inhale that left arm up, turn the chest leftward, exhale, reach it to the right, bring your left ear down. Option to add on, take that right arm, wrap it to the left, pull back. Try and take the gaze a little more upward. And then see if you can find your breath here. Release, come back up to hands and knees. From here, we're gonna sit the hips back like you're gonna do child's pose, but you're gonna bring your elbows down and bring your hands to reverse prayer behind your head. You should be able to get a little traction so you really feel a stretch through your triceps and under the armpit. Release the arms, inhale your way back up to hands and knees, and then lift the hips up to downward facing dog. Take a couple breaths here, feel it out. If there's something you want to do while you're here, lift up on your toes, pedal out your feet. And once you're there, really feel your fingers spread apart on your mat, lengthen your hips upward. And then lower your heels as close to the mat as you can. From here, gaze to your hands and step behind your hands, feet towards the top of the mat, folding forward, ragdoll, grab onto your elbows. Let your head hang heavy towards the ground, perhaps sway side to side. If you want, you can take your hands around the base of your neck, interlace them for a little added traction to your spine. Release your arms to the floor, roll yourself all the way up to standing, bring your feet closer together. We'll start with some sun salutations. Turn your palms to shine forward, opening up your chest, and feel your feet rooted into the earth. Inhale, reach your arms up. If you can and want to, you can press your hands together or keep them apart. As you root through your feet, maybe take your gaze up, stretch more towards the ceiling. Exhale, forward fold, hands down. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen the spine, tailbone back, chest forward. Exhale, plant the hands, step to plank and hold. Shoulders over your wrists. Press into the floor for three, 
Two, start to bend the elbows, lower all the way down. Press the tops of your feet into the earth. And inhale, baby cobra, peel your chest away from the ground. Exhale, lower down, tuck your toes under, lift your kneecaps up. Inhale, high plank. And exhale, down dog. Two breaths, and then we're gonna flow there two more times, breath to movement. If you wanna change anything, that's totally fine. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step or jump, feet to your hands. Inhale, lift it halfway, and exhale, fold down. Inhale, rise up, reach up, Tadasana. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step or jump, feet to hands. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, lower. Inhale, rise up and reach. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step or jump, feet to the hands, big toes touch. Inhale, halfway up, exhale, fold. Inhale, bend your knees, chair pose, stretch your arms up. Bending the knees, squeeze the thighs together. Sit a little bit lower. Feel your thighs, your legs start to work. Last breath in. Keep the knees bent, fold forward, then straighten the leg. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, up dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg in between your hands. Left foot down, warrior one. Stretch your arms up. You're lunging into your right leg as you root down through that left foot. Exhale, open up warrior two pose. Big bend in your front leg. Reach out through your arms. Inhale, reverse. Perhaps wrap that left arm behind your back. Reach up, get a nice big stretch. Hold it here. And exhale, chaturanga, hands to the ground. Step back and lower. Inhale, up dog, and exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, step your left foot in between your hands, back foot down, warrior one. Bend into your left leg as you root down into the outer edge of your right foot. Next breath, open up warrior two pose. Front foot straight ahead. Reach out through your fingertips. Arms engaged. Reverse, wrap your right arm behind your back. Stretch up and back. Keep the bend in the left knee. And exhale, windmill down, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, and exhale, downward facing dog. Three breaths here. <clears throat> All right, we're gonna turn that into a flow. 
Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step or jump, feet to the top. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, fold down. Chair pose, bend down, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, up dog. And exhale, down dog. Right foot in between your hands. Plant your left foot. Rise up, warrior one. Exhale, open, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, hands to your mat, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Left foot in between your hands, right foot down, warrior one. Exhale, open, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take three breaths. Feel your body start to warm up. Heart rate start to kick up a bit. One more round here. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step or jump top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Chair pose, bend the knees, reach the arms up. One breath. Exhale, forward fold, release. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Right foot in between your hands, back foot down, warrior one, rise up. Exhale, open up, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior, reach back. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing dog. Left foot in between your hands, right heel plants, warrior one, rise. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, windmill it down, step back and lower. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take three breaths here. Inhale, lift your right leg high. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, right foot in between your hands. Crescent lunge, rise up. Exhale, hinge forward, airplane arms. Reach the fingertips back. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Moving into airplane pose, lift off your back leg. Balancing on your right leg, left leg lifts. Holding here for three, two, one. Step back, warrior two. Open up. Straightening your right leg for triangle pose. Little bend in your right knee. Arms reach out as the hips go back. Right arm down, left arm up. See here if you can get pretty weightless in your right hand. Maybe your fingertips barely touch the ground. One more breath. Inhale, push down and rise. Exhale, bend the knee again. Warrior two. Extended side angle, right arm down, left arm up. Option to add a half bind or bind, take your left arm 
behind your back. Option to take your right arm, reach it underneath your leg, grab for your fingertips, and then roll back. Last three, two, one. Unwind, bring your hands around your right foot, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale up and exhale, downward facing. Inhale, left leg up. Knee to nose, exhale. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, step through, low lunge, crescent lunge, rise up. Hinge forward, airplane arms. Keep your crescent legs as you reach your fingertips back. Hug your arms towards each other. Airplane pose, lift off your right leg, balance. Keep your body in that T-shape. Hold for three, two, warrior two, step back and open up. Straightening your left leg, little bend in that knee, triangle pose, hinge forward. Rotate your chest towards the ceiling as you press down into your feet. Keep reaching your right fingertips up towards the sky. Last three, two, on one, push down, rise up, bend your left knee again, extended side angle, reach forward and down. Half bind or full bind, reach your right arm behind your back, Maybe take your left arm, weave it underneath, see if you can get those fingertips, and then roll back. You got it, hang in there, last three, last two, and one, release your hands to the mat, step back, lower down, inhale, up dog, and exhale, downward facing dog. Good, just set your knees down, hips back, child's pose, take three breaths, forehead to the ground. Press up to hands and knees and lift yourself back downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, crescent, rise up. Interlace your hands behind your low back. Pull your fists back and away. Hold the lunge. As you open up from the chest, maybe start to lift your gaze up. Hold for three, two, we release to warrior two. We're gonna move into half moon pose. So from here, you can take your left hand to your hip and start to reach your right fingertips in front of your right foot as your left leg lifts up. Flex that left leg and energize it. If you're feeling good, you can take your left arm up towards the ceiling. Hold for three. Two, push down, rise all the way up, step back, and then straighten your legs 
And we're gonna turn to the side for a wide legged position. Make sure the outer edges of your feet are parallel and then reach your arms wide to the side, inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Reach for the outer edges of your feet. If your forehead is really far off the ground, take a wider stance and see if you can get your forehead right above the mat. Keep lifting your tailbone up. Really feeling this in your hamstrings and back to the legs. Let your neck relax. Bring your hands under your shoulders so your arms are straight now. We're gonna take a twist. Press down into your left hand, reach your right arm up towards the ceiling. You wanna really feel like you're lifting up and out of that bottom hand as you engage and contract the muscles of your thighs. Bring your right hand down, lift the left arm up, rotate to the left, Left arm down, arms to the side, push down into your feet, rise up, turn your feet out, toes out, heels in, bring your hands to your heart and bend down into a squat. Just rock it a little side to side. And then bring your hands on your thighs. We're gonna take a twist. Twist to the right, push into your left leg. Back to center and switch. Alternate a few times side to side. You can move at your own beat. One more each way. Straighten the legs, reach the arms all the way up. Turn your right foot to the right. Inhale, reverse, reach up and back. Exhale, windmill down, Chaturanga Dandasana. Exhale, down dog, and we move to the left side. Inhale, lift your left leg high. Exhale, step through, low lunge. Inhale, rise up, crescent. Exhale, interlace your hands behind your back. You're still in that lunge position. Pull your fist back and away. Lunge down. Maybe start to lean back. Not just hold it here, work the arms. Hold for three, two. Exhale, open warrior two. We're moving into half moon. Bring your right hand to your right hip, bend the left knee, reach in front of your left toes as your right leg lifts. Keep pressing down into your left big toe. We're holding here for five. You got it almost there. Last two, big step back. And then open into a wide-legged stance. Feet parallel on your mat. Interlace your hands behind your back. If you need to, you grab a strap or a shirt. Pull your fist back, lean your chest back, and then exhale, fold forward. Last two breaths. Release your arms. 
With your feet wide, we're gonna start to move side to side. So you're gonna slowly start to bend the right knee. You can start to sit down to your comfort here. Lifting up about halfway, walking it over to the left. Slowly shifting side to side. Give yourself a few seconds to sit into that deep squat position. You can use your arm to the inside of your knee to kind of push it outward. One more side to side. Opening up the groin, hamstrings. Maybe you sit, reach the arms forward. Next time you're on your right side, walk it all the way to the front and we will bring the hands on the inside of your right foot. Coming into that lizard lunge, that runner's lunge. And then maybe drop it to your forearms. If you want to, you can add on by bending your left knee, reach around with your right arm and pull in for that quad stretch. Woo. Three full breaths. Release your back foot if you had it, rise to your hands. Stay on your left knee and shift back. Straighten your right leg either all the way or leave a little bend for that hamstring stretch. Walk your hands forward. So butt back, chest forward. And then take your right leg back and we're just gonna switch, bring your left foot to the outside of your left hand. Drop it into the forearms. Hold here or bend your right knee, reach with your left hand and grab a hold. One more breath. Release your grip. Come back to your hands, shift back. Straightening your left leg, pull your toes up. Hinge forward, walk the hands forward. Bring your left knee back to meet your right. And then just have a seat on your shins. Um, we're gonna do a few more things before we move into some back bends and then like cool down. So I'm gonna give you the option to do headstand or handstand work for a little bit, or maybe forearm stand. So I'll show you a couple ways you can do this. If you're by a wall at home, you can use a wall. And if you don't want to, for whatever reason, feel free to insert whatever you feel like working on. So if you wanna work on a tripod headstand, you're looking to have your, the, the top of your head and your hands as your base. So I'd shift forward and bring my head down with my hands down, lift up to my toes and maybe start with my knees on my elbows. 
From here, I can lift up and lift the legs up. That's your tripod. You guys know how to work on handstand. You can work on just kick ups on your mat if you don't feel like if you don't have a wall. So you can just start in your downward facing dog. Step one foot in and just start to lift. I'm using my bottom leg as my how I'm moving. So I'm kicking into that leg and jumping off of that leg to get up. Now, as you're doing tripod, I want you to feel like you're nice. That's it. Feel like your knees are weightless on your arms. Leah, step one foot in and lift the other leg. And now bend your left knee. That's your hopper. Hop off your left. There you go. Squeeze those knees. That's it, Christine. Your hands might be a little bit close to your head, Christy. Bring them down a little bit more so that they're at 90 degree angles. Now Leah, back your hands up towards your feet there. So lift up like you had it. There you go. Now hands a little closer. So your hands for the tripod, you wanna make sure they're not like wide into the side, but hugging in. One thing you can try with tripod is to just test your core strength. You can lift one toe off the ground and just see if you can lift. So you don't have to rely on your laying your legs on your arms. So, and then over time, it's been a while for me, but you can just lift right up. You're shifting your hips. So your weight lifts up. Give it another try or two, something you wanna, and just kind of see where you are. You know, just start by one foot up and just see like what maybe isn't quite situated. I think it could be placement of your hands, but we can work on that. I know it's been a minute since we've done anything like this. I always think that I'm going to collapse backwards, even though I'm probably not going to. So that's you're just strong. like a fear. Thing. Yeah. So you could always do it by wall because you're strong. So um, another way, I don't know if you've ever tried it on your forearms with your hands behind your head. Um, I don't know if that's necessarily a safer feeling or not but your forearms come down. And again, you can always do it against the wall. If you, you know, if my fear is I'm gonna go over, you can always just have a wall just in case. Um, the hands behind my head actually feels way more secure for feels me. Feels more secure. So I think yeah. my head was like getting all the weight. Yeah, so with your forearms, you're kind of pushing down. So actually your head shouldn't be almost like slightly lifting off the ground a little bit. Yeah, that felt way less weight. Yeah, it's a, little, head. It's a little head heavy. <laughs> all right. 
Let's find a child's pose now. And just rest your hips back. Let your forehead connect with the earth. And just take a couple of deep breaths here. Press up to hands and knees and just swing your legs out in front of you, rolling to your back. We're going to do a couple back bends. We'll finish with some forward folds and then our final Shavasana. So we'll all start with a bridge pose and then anyone who wants to can start to move on from there. So knees are bent so your fingertips can touch your heels and then tuck your shoulders underneath you so your chest really lifts towards the ceiling. Push into your feet and then see if you can wedge your shoulders a little deeper, interlacing your hands underneath you. Now press down into the floor with your arms, pushing your feet down and we'll breathe a few more breaths. Release the arms, lower the hips. Options here, if you're feeling like you don't want to do any work, you can take a block and just lift it underneath your low back. And if you want to either repeat, do a bridge or move into wheel pose, we'll do that. So once you find your back bend, take five breaths. If you're going into wheel, take your hands back by your shoulder tips, uh, shoulders, fingertips pointing towards your feet, lift to the crown of the head, and then press the arms straight. When you're done, just lower down to your back. Take a deep breath. Take your right leg over your left and roll your hips over to the left, taking a crossed spinal twist. And then roll back to center, cross your left leg over your right, and then roll your knees to the right. Come back to center. We're going to roll up and bring the soles of the feet together. Bring your hands on your feet. Hinge forward, pressing the, the elbows down into the legs and bring your forehead to your toes or as close as you can get it, rounding your back. Reach your arms forward in front of you, stretching those arms out now. Rise up, bring your hands behind you, 
Squeeze your shoulder blades down and back and just lift your head and gaze. And now reach your arms forward in front of you and then slowly roll yourself down to your back. Bring your knees into your chest, wrap your arms around your shins. Inhale, take a hug, reach your forehead up and exhale, final Shavasana. Relax. Slowly begin to deepen your breath. If you're ready to move on, start to wiggle your fingers and toes and your wrists and ankles. And then take a big overhead stretch. From there, roll onto your side, pausing in a fetal pose. And we'll press up to a seated position. Bring your hands to your heart and sit up nice and tall. Just honoring the moments we had, the time you carved out for yourself and the efforts that you put in today. Thumbs to third eye center. Namaste. Thank you guys for practicing today, for showing up. As always, I'm happy to take what you feel like working on or doing into consideration. So I, I know what to plan for class. Um, so feel free to send anything my way. If not, enjoy the rest of your day in the snow and I'll see you guys soon.
Thanks, Blair. Bye. Bye, Holmes. Bye. <laughs>